you want more leads for your business and you don't want to waste your time or your money trying all kinds of different methods, this video is for you. I'm going to show you the exact process on how to get leads for your business through Facebook ads in 2024. This method works. I've done it countless times. If you follow the method that I'm going to share with you, you will get results very quickly for your business that I know you'll be happy with. All right, I've moved down here to the corner and I'm going to show you the easy way to get leads from Facebook ads in 2024. We'll put together this quick document and it's going to show you the main concepts that you have to understand to get really good results through Facebook ads. So I assume you're already getting leads for your business. The problem is getting more leads is hard. There's all kinds of different things you can try to get leads. For example, you can throw up yard signs, partners with other contractors, referrals, word of mouth, Google My Business, SEO, Google ads, Facebook ads. The thing about these is they all work and they all have the potential to bring you leads but they all come with their own individual problems. With yard signs, it's hard to know if they're actually working or if they're gonna work, it's hard to know where to put them. Partnering with other contractors is, can be great, but you don't know when results are gonna come. You don't know how long it's gonna take to develop those relationships. Referrals and word of mouth are amazing as well, but it takes a long time to build up a solid reputation that's gonna give you as many leads as you want. Google My Business can be very good depending on your service and depending if you can get verified on Google. It's kind of hard sometimes. So SEO means like having a website that shows up through search. This also can be very good. It takes a long time. It is a big cost to get someone to do it correctly. Google ads are hard to do and expensive, but give you great leads. Facebook ads can be a little hard to do. They're not expensive and give you pretty good leads. So there's lots of things to do. What are you going to do? Okay, well, I focus on Facebook ads. There's a few reasons why I chose to focus on Facebook ads instead of something like Google ads or SEO or Google My Business, which I do Google ads as well, but I really like Facebook ads. The reason is because I think Facebook ads with the proper creative and ad structure can be a gold mine for your business. There's a few reasons behind this. One of them is precise targeting. Within the Facebook ads manager, you can target exactly who you want to show your ads to. Your town that you live in probably has at least tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands, even millions of people. And a lot of them can be your potential customers and you can target them by location, by interest, by age, by demographic, whatever you think would be best. So that is a really good thing about Facebook ads. They are also cost effective. The meta platform for ads is just not very expensive. It used to be even cheaper. It's gotten more expensive over the years, but it's still, but it's still not nearly as expensive as something like Google ads. They also offer a very large reach. You can reach everybody in your city. Basically, everybody in your city is on Facebook and you can throw your business right in front of their face just through a Facebook ad. And they can be very low effort for you if you have someone do it for you. So you can focus on running your business, managing your clients, managing your employees and let the leads just come in. Okay, so that's why I like Facebook ads. I think they're awesome, a super good asset for your business, but how do you do it? Okay, so there's two keys to unlocking the gold mine of leads that you can find through Facebook ads. They are the ad creative and the ad structure. Real quick, the ad creative is the actual piece of media that you're showing to somebody that's on Facebook. It can be a picture or a video. They're scrolling through a Facebook feed and they're going to see something that you create. The ad structure is basically how you build the ad within the Facebook ads manager. There's lots of different settings. There's lots of ways you can set it up. And if you do it correctly, you can basically guarantee you'll get good results. Okay, so let's talk about what it takes to have a winning ad creative. The proper ad creative focuses on human psychology of the ideal customer. You do this by tapping into their internal desires, such as safety, convenience, or status. These are desires that humans naturally have within them. And if you can tap into those regarding specifically what you want to give to them, you can trigger them to basically take action and click on your ad and contact you. That sounds kind of weird. Let me get into some examples. So let's say you own a concrete and landscaping business. Example one, a homeowner is unhappy with their current driveway. It's cracked. They are embarrassed that their neighbors have to see it every day. So this is kind of like a keeping up with the Joneses situation. They're, they're a little embarrassed about the way their home looks. And that's something you can target within your ad. Another example, a homeowner has an unfinished backyard that they can't enjoy. Their dog runs around in the dirt. Their kids can't play outside. They can't have family gatherings. So your ad can target these negative feelings and offer a solution. And as they're watching the, that ad, they're going to remember this negative feelings they have. And they're going to say, wow, here's a solution. And it's going to be your business. So they're going to reach out to you and give you their information. 
some important points to talk about. Your ad must immediately capture their attention. So it has to be captivating as far as the media you create. It must be very convincing that you can solve their problem. There's different ways to, you know, show social proof to get them to build trust with you. And you must have a compelling offer with a strong call to action. So that's all very high level. I have other videos going more into detail exactly how to create these videos, but this is what you need to do to have an ad that works. You need to tap into the psychology of your ideal customer, convince them that you are the solution to their problems and call them to action so that they take action and give you their information so you can call them up and give them your business. Okay, so that's the overall theory behind a good ad creative for basically home service businesses. So other than that, there's ad structure. The ad structure is a little bit easier to just comprehend in, in general, but it still can make or break your campaign. If you don't set up your ad correctly, there is a chance that you can just start spending money on ads and you will get no leads in return. A simple example of a structure is you have one Facebook ad campaign and it's centered around one primary service that you offer. Within there, you're going to have two different ad sets, ad set one with three different ads, ad set two with three different ads. The first ad set is going to be broad targeting. The second ad set is going to be interest-based targeting. Now, both of these will have location and demographic targeting as well. It's the same between the two ad sets. And then ideally you create three different pieces of media or creative to test. Over time, you're going to see which one works better, do different split testing and come up with your own winning creatives. Okay, so that's the basic ad structure. Now the settings, there's a lot, a lot of settings. You can download my free ad setup guide. It's in the, it's in the description of this video. It goes over every setting. And because I don't wanna type out all that stuff, I'm just gonna pull it up and we can quickly go through it and you can see what it is. Okay. So this is the ad setup guide. It basically says here that um, the settings and setup isn't enough. Your ad creative is very important and both of those need to be solid to get to have a good Facebook ad. Okay, so step one is going to be campaign creation. This is where you set up the service you're going to be offering. So you basically create a campaign. I like to do engagement campaigns depending on your service. Lead campaigns also work. Select engagement. You want to create man a manual engagement campaign. With Facebook ads, there's going to be a lot of options where it tries to do everything for you. Stay away from that when you can. You want to be able to, you want to select the settings that you want, not let them, not let them do it for you. Okay, so you title the campaign, these settings, you can just pause it here. Most of these you leave alone. There's not much you change with the campaign settings. Most of it is within the ad set, which we get into right here. So the ad set, this is where you target. This is basically where you set up your targeting. Okay, so title your ad set according to who you're targeting. Make sure you got the right messaging app. If you're doing a messaging ad selected, leave that stuff alone. Okay, you're going to set your budget. Maybe you want to do 20, 30, $100 a day. This is where you're going to set it. That budget is for the entire ad set. So if you have three ads within your ad set and your ad set's at $100 a day, each ad will spend about $33. Not exactly, but it's, it's shared between the three. Okay, here's an example. When, you are, when you're creating your audience, you want to use original audience. This will allow you to target more specific people. So... You target the right locations you want to ideally the high income areas in your neighborhoods. If you're, if you're looking for homeowners, you want to raise your age from 18 to maybe 30 plus with the economy nowadays, not too many 20 year olds, not too many people in their twenties are owning homes. And if they do, maybe they're, they're probably not looking for a landscaping renovation just yet. Okay, then there's all the different placements. Again, I'm just zooming through this because you can download this um, have it for reference as you're building your ads side by side. Here's an example, manual placements. You want to select yourself where you, where Facebook puts your ads. You don't want it to you don't want it to do it for you. It will waste your money. Here's a sneaky little setting. Find that in the in the PDF. And then there's your ad creation. So you're going to create basically three ads within your ad set. And you just title it, make sure it's the right Facebook page, and then you upload your media. So you upload your media, then you're going to type out your text. This is the the copy. What's going to what it's going to say above the ad. That's very important too. I could make an entire series of videos just about that. So I like to do this automated message. Basically, if someone clicks on your ad and interacts, Facebook will automatically start messages, messaging them with things that you program and it will just collect the lead. It'll qualify the lead and collect it for you without having to do any work. It's kind of epic. I love doing this. You just craft your message. 
here's an example of how you craft it. This is all just that automated message. And that's basically it. You can just duplicate that ad, upload a different piece of media, and then all the settings are saved. And there you have it. So those are the basics on how to create a Facebook ad that's going to get you leads for your business. Now, just to let you know, Facebook ads work basically immediately. So if you create a piece of media for your ad, so a piece of creative, if you build it and hit launch, you can start getting leads basically immediately. It does take time for you to optimize your lead cost for the lead cost to get lower, but you don't have to wait very long. Facebook is ready to spend your money and ready to give you some leads. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me or leave a comment down below. Good luck. Download this guide so that you can have these settings ready while you're building your ads. Have a good one.